All right, guys, today I got something so exciting going on. I just ended my hunt for peacock bass. We ended up slamming into monsters. Now the sun's going down, I'm gonna be doing something that I cannot wait. I've been waiting all day to do. I heard there were giant, giant snakehead right here in this pond over here. And I've never seen or caught a snakehead before. I've always known about them since I was about 10 years old, always wanted to catch one tonight is going to be the night i hear they're fierce i've actually been catching a few yesterday but they all just snapped my line before i can see them as i was fishing with my shiners so tonight i'm gonna be doing something a little bit different i'm gonna be taking my bow out and i'm gonna be shooting at the biggest monsters i can possibly find so let's see how this goes now you're probably thinking, oh my God, what a rude person for shooting an innocent animal. If you're a liberal, that's okay, I love you anyways. But that would be the case if I were shooting any invasive species, but these snake heads are a little bit different. We want them gone as soon as possible, which is never gonna happen because they are so invasive. They are on top of the food chain. They'll kill anything and they're extremely territorial. So here's the pond that holds the beast. It's actually connected to every canal system in the area. So anything can come in and out. Oh yeah, look at this bad boy. This right here, I've literally had this Matthews bow for five years. I shot thousands of fish with it. So there's no getting away these snakeheads, not no more. So these snakeheads, they're from China, they're from Japan, they're from the Asia. They're not from around here at all. But somebody had brought them over as like a pet and for whatever other reason then released them into the canals and they are so dominant and so invasive. Like I said, they're at the top of the food chain. They are like the serial killers of invasive fish. So, and in, they're not just in Florida, they're in many other states. I've even heard of them clear up in Utah. So today, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm waiting for the sun to go down. And as the sun goes down, they're all gonna come into the edge where they hunt and they're gonna super shallow. So you can take your spotlight and just walk in on them and then you'll have about a five to 10 second shot before they take back off. So what I got here is my quick action rig, hillbilly rigging it, I got my high power spotlight just strapped onto my bow so the way it works is it's just gonna be a quick action i can sneak up quick shine pull back and shoot quickly so i'm fixing to get the monster and you're gonna see what i'm talking about the sun is now down i've given the snakehead just enough time to come into the hunting grounds immediately i spot something huge I take my shot as fast as I can. But the strangest thing, it was not moving. I was here only two hours ago and I know that fish was not there. Huh. Earlier on, I found a net in the water. I tried taking it out with a stick, but I couldn't. So I ended up leaving it there, dropping it back in the water. So this thing swallowed the net, choked on it, and died all within the two hours I've been gone from the same spot. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at this. Holy crap. Wow. Look at the length of that. That right there would be a monster. Now we can get one alive. Look at this thing. I mean, looking at the mouth. Let's see what happened here. It swallowed the net all the way in there. Wow, look at those teeth. Nasty, nasty teeth. Whoa! Now we know why he swallowed it. Look at this. Now we know why he swallowed it. Little bluegill. 
tried eating that bluegill choked on this net that's amazing i literally dropped this net in here like two hours ago i didn't realize the fish would get stuck in it but a bluegill got stuck in it and this three foot snake head decided to swallow it that's amazing a really interesting fact about these things they're these are the one of the rare fish in the world that can breathe both air and water. And they also are known for walking on land. They'll actually slither at night when nobody's watching. They'll crawl out of the, the river banks or the canals and they'll try to find different bodies of water. So it makes this thing a really creepy creature sometimes. I'm gonna show you the teeth here now that he's all calm but look at these teeth those are what everyone is afraid of only three minutes later I find my first live snake head I see him lurking underneath the bushes there he is waiting to pounce on anything that moves I find a clear opening and I slowly draw back to make the shot. I release hell. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that is the first snakehead I have ever seen up close. That is amazing. Whoa. Like three feet long. Don't he bite me? Whoa! The fighting machine. Look at this. As you can see, they just have. They're kind of like catfish. They have a bunch of thousands of teeth, but some of them are kind of bigger than. Wow. And for the next few hours, it was non stop action. Around every corner, there was something either to be admired or shot at. There were peacock bass, tilapia, gar, and snakeheads. I've never seen a spotted guard before. This is pretty cool. Oh boy, <laughs> bigger than I thought it was. Oh, he's a big one. Whoa, he's a big one. Look at this monster. Shoot my foot right next to him. Look how big he is. Him off so we can see him better. Wow, make head that right there. <laughs> The big snakehead. Look at those eyes, they're perked upwards so they can watch everything above them. Serious predators, these things are. These snakeheads will lay up to 15,000 eggs in one batch and they'll do it one to five times a year. Just think about how much that is this is why fishing game here in florida wants them gone so bad they say you kill every single one you can find and do it quick look at that <laughs> 